In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Brendan Kilcoyne, coming to you at the Brendan Option, courtesy of Immaculata Productions. If you like our work, please do consider subscribing, because it helps us. What helps us even more is that if you give us enough to stave off imminent death from starvation, and PayPal and Patreon are there to smooth the way. And um, the comments, keep them coming. Mm, we appreciate them. Now we're up to the 21st Sunday in what is mistakenly termed ordinary time. But this will not be ordinary. And in that first reading, we meet Joshua, one of the great dudes of the Old Testament. Yeah, I know they don't use that term. I just thought it up myself. Joshua is a serious bit of kit, okay? You don't mess with Joshua. And there in the, in, in, in the book of Joshua, <laughs> the book of Joshua, he's telling them, choose, losers, which will it be? You want God or you want to just make fools of yourselves? Which is it? Call it, name it, give me a decision. Put the signature on the bit of paper. Let's suck diesel here. Let the rubber hit the road. Floor it. Okay, you have this tremendous moment of dramatic choice. Right? And then, you know, we, we, we go on to the gospel. And in the gospel, the Jews are... And, and this isn't some anti-Semitic rant, okay? I happen to be, not only as a Catholic, hugely grateful to the Jewish people. For, for what they have given us um, and hugely guilty about our uh, often our, our unpleasantness towards them in the past. But also, I, I consider that this is a very human moment in which the Jewish people speak for all of us. And what's said to him? This is intolerable language. How can anyone stand it? Now, come on. If you're a real Christian, if you're a real Catholic, you have to admit that there have been moments in your life when you've said, oh, Lord, I, I just can't, I can't make head or tail of what you want. I don't know what you're saying to me. And the disciples speak for us. The Jewish people speak for us. Now, here the disciples actually play a blinder for once, okay, because they make a hash of it so often. And of course, people leave him. You know, he's talking there about being the bread of life. Again, he tries to explain it to them, you know, and they leave him. And he turns around to the, the disciples and he said, well, will ye go too? And it's Peter who speaks for them. And he said, go, go where? You're it. You're the only show in town. That's all you have to say to him. I don't know what you're on about. I can't do this, it's impossible. But I can't turn my back on you because you're my only chance. That, my friend, is the voice of faith. Yes, it is faith. It is faith. You, you think faith is something perfect. Faith is a gift from God, yes, but it it's a gift that comes into human beings and it's expressed in human beings and human beings can accept it or reject it. Remember Joshua, choose whom you will serve. Choose. Now, will you accept this gift of faith? And by the time you've digested it and you have made it your own, it won't be as dignified because that's the way we are. Are you going to stay with them or not? Call it. Make a decision. Now I'm saying this, I've said this before, and I know you're going to say I'm like a stuck record. All right. I, I just think this is crucial. I don't know how many different ways you can find to say it. You know? Will you do your number two or pass the potty? Just get on with it. This, this is going nowhere. And I'm telling you something, this messing you're at. 
it is going to do you terrible spiritual harm and it's leaving you open to evil. You're standing there looking around on the road of life, uh, peering around in the distance and every chancer walking the road can see that you don't know what you're at and where you're going. My friend, there are things on that road you don't want to be slowing down for. I really would advise you to make a decision there. I would advise that you do that. There's a fantastic moment. Is there a film I recommend to you? Um, Brad Pitt, first class actor. Fury. I recommend you have a look at that film. I'll be talking about it again off and on. I used it in sermons at the time when it came out. It's about, about four years old, I'd say. Pitt's a tank sergeant. He's sergeant of a tank crew in the Second World War in Normandy. And they're there um, and, and they've been told that the American lines of communication and supply are incredibly uh, vulnerable and at all costs they have to make sure that anything coming down that road doesn't get past them. And they learn that a crack SS unit is making its way towards them. They're on a crossroads and Pitt, Pitt says, uh, Okay, he said, I, I, I'm, I'm staying here. And the others are saying, no, no, we've done our job. We have to fall back. We're only just one tank. That's not enough. Like, we have to fall back and warn the others we're coming. And he said, no, 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 no. He said, we were told to hold them off. He said, I, I'm staying here with my tank. He said, you go. He said, there's no dishonor. You can go. I'm, I, I'm not going. He said, this tank is my home. I'm not going. I'm not going. The, the others go mad, try to talk them out of it, and then they stay with them. And they hold off these crack German troops long enough to do good. And at one point in the film, one of the crew is a believer, and he quotes the scriptures. Uh, and I think it's Isaiah, isn't it? And a voice said, whom shall we send? And I said, I am here, send me. Sooner or later in a man's life, he must decide, will he, will he stand his ground or not? Sooner or later in a woman's life, she must decide how many crossroads there are in life and make a decision. How far do you fall back? Hitler, and sometimes the evil are better at this than the good, they're sharper than the good. He famously asked his generals on the Eastern Front when they asked for permission to fall back 50 kilometres. He asked, why? Is it any less cold 50 kilometres back? And he was actually right, military historians say in that case, to make them stay where they were. Sometimes the good can't see it, but the evil can see it. How many times can you retreat? How many times can you put your hands up? How many times can you keep saying, no, no, this isn't the moment, this isn't the fight. How many times can you say, no, I don't want to decide just yet. I'm young, I want to sow my wild oats. I'll, I'll answer Joshua down the line. My friend, do, 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 do. Sow your wild oats. Do you think nature is trifled with? Do you think evil is trifled with? Do you think it's going to be that simple? For goodness sake, I'm addicted to nicotine. I gave them up some years ago and I know that one cig one, one, one cigarette, one, one cigarette would be the most expensive cigarette I ever smoked because I'd be back on them in the morning. Go out of that. Sow your wild oats. You never saw the horror film, Children of the Corn? <laughs> well, you would be careful of the oats. Will you make a decision? The voice is saying, whom shall we send? Are you the one? Is this the time to say, here am I, send me? The Lord is asking you, are you going to leave too? Isn't this the time to say, and go where? And go, I'd love to leave you. Because anyone too near you is going to get killed. I'd love to leave you. But go where? You have the message of eternal life. I can't stay with you, I can't leave you. I can't live with you, I can't live without you. Make a call. Make a decision. Here you are at the crossroads. Name it. 
Call it. Stop this nonsense. Your life is ticking away and the only one delighted at the way you're delaying is the one you don't want to be serving. There's nothing he'd like better than to keep you on the road forever. Never getting there. Make the call. Whom will you serve? Who has the message of eternal life? Call it, call it, call it. That's what I'm saying to you today. And I'm saying it to you as a fourth-rate priest. I'm saying it to you as somebody who took ages to answer the call. I'm saying it to you as somebody who's always held back in subtle ways and not-so-subtle ways on the call. I'm saying it to you with with my friend. I'm saying this to you with so much grief and so much self-knowledge. Do not keep putting this off when the Master looks into your eyes and says to you, You've heard the word. I'm not changing it. I'm not backing. Are you going to leave me too? Pray God that you decide well. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen.